everyone. Happy Pride. Happy Pride Month. Thanks for joining us today as we raise, raise the Pride flag, the Trans Pride flag, and the Canada 150 Pride flag on Parliament Hill. I'm pleased to be here with Minister Wilson Raybolt, Minister Goodale, as well as uh, assembled ministers and MPs of all parties, uh, as well as my special advisor on LGBTQ2 issues, Randy Boissonneau. Randy, merci pour le travail fantastique que tu fais au nom de la communauté. Nous avons vraiment été des pionniers en annonçant la création de ce rôle de conseiller et le travail que tu fais est essentiel pour faire du Canada un endroit plus juste pour tous. Merci, Randy. Vous savez, l'an dernier, nous avons hissé pour la première fois le drapeau de la fierté sur la colline et c'était un moment historique pour tous les Canadiens. Mais en hissant les drapeaux cette année, nous faisons quelque chose d'encore plus important et d'encore plus historique. This year's ceremony marks another milestone as we acknowledge and work to rectify historical injustices experienced by Canadians due to their sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. I am pleased to announce today that our government will be moving forward with a process for the expungement of criminal convictions for Canadians who were unjustly convicted of a crime simply for who they were and who they loved. Yeah. We will be introducing legislation on this in the House of Commons later this year. Further, we will acknowledge and apologize for the role played by legislation, programs and policies in the historical discrimination faced by LGBTQ2 Canadians. As we announced last month, we are committed to apologizing in an inclusive and meaningful manner before the end of 2017. I believe that it's essential to make amends for past wrongs not to simply gloss over them. Today's announcement and the forthcoming apology are important steps in the right direction. Our government believes in equality and equal treatment for all Canadians, and we're proud to take concrete action to make that a reality. We will passionately defend the rights of all our citizens, regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. Homophobia, biphobia, and transphobia are unacceptable. In Canada, we've come a long way, but there is still more work to be done. There is still work to do, fights to be had here in Canada and more and more around the world. Canadians get that recognizing LGBTQ2 rights are recognizing human rights and leading around the world in the fight for equality, for respect, for opportunity is something that is much a part of Canada as the maple leaf flying over Parliament Hill and as now the pride flags are. This is something we commit ourselves to that now in our 150th year since Confederation and every year as we move forward. Let us stay vigilant and ambitious while we work together towards a brighter, safer, more accepting future for all. Thank you very much. Merci, mes amis. Thank you.